accident took place at the entrance of Belvedere House, a beauty spot on the N52 south of Mullingar. A National Roads Authority report from two years ago cited this particular stretch of road as one of the most dangerous in Ireland. In the past month alone, there have been four fatalities in three separate incidents. My colleague Alison Murphy has been engaging the action at SIP2 headquarters in Liberty Hall. Thanks, Jonathan. Yes, a change for the Ministry of Transport, which has become high profile over the last number of years for M50 construction work, the Lewis, road safety issues and numerous discussions with SIP2. And here to assess whether Martin Cullen is going to have a long winter of discussions ahead with SIP2 is the President, Jack O'Connor. Jack. There was no sign of the former minister at his Dublin home today, but his previous claims that he was not a wealthy man and had little savings or investments made no difference to the ruling because it said he had misled the tribunal at every turning. Overall, Judge Mahan's ruling was quite scathing of Mr. Burke's conduct throughout the inquiry, saying he had cast a shadow over all the evidence. He said the extent to which he obstructed the inquiry and provided false information was such that he had no option but to refuse costs. He went on to say that had Mr. Burke cooperated, he would have received a substantial amount of the 10 million euro bill. Alison Murphy, Sky News, Dublin Castle. Is where it's all going to happen live tonight at half past nine on BBC One. No expense spared to the BBC. Fantastic guest, and I can give you an exclusive uh, look at the set. No, you can't. It's a closed set. It's a secret until you have to watch tonight. I'm sorry. What I can tell you is some of the guests on tonight's program. There's Pat Henry. He'll tell you how to have legs like Demi Moore in six weeks, but like our cameraman. David Soule, you remember him, of course. He was Hutch at the Starsky and Hutch. And Caprice, the Wonder Bra girl. Oops, sorry, Caprice. We didn't think I was going to let you in there, did you? <laughs> Good afternoon. The SDLP leader John Hume has said that politicians must now move the talks process forward into substantive negotiations. There has, however, been an angry reaction from unionists to comments from Martin McGuinness, who said yesterday that Sinn Féin is going into the talks to smash the union. Paul Clemens reports. Good evening. We begin tonight with the shock news that Lord Alderdice has resigned as leader of the Alliance Party. He said he'd taken the decision after his party's poor showing at the Assembly election. In a moment, I'll be looking in more detail at his decision. First, this from our political editor, Stephen Grimison. And the Italian Mafia is in the red. They're losing £16 million a month, overspending on wages, bribes, arms and protective vehicles. Don Corleone will be turning in his grave. We'll have more headlines for you in an... Table. You might know where you're getting on and at what time, but you might necessarily know where you're going that day. But they do organize full day trips, including lunch if you want, and the nice thing is that you can get on and off wherever you like. A welcome lunch break gives everyone a well-earned breather and me the chance to see how my fellow paddlers are coping. You've got to meet uh, somebody who's hanging around here. This is what you call in Turkey. They take it really seriously, the sun protection lark. This is sun protection factor 150. <laughs> so follow me, follow. Go to the hollow. And there let us follow <laughs> Gonna come out of here, ooh, ten years younger. Can't wait to be eleven again. <laughs> A really nice way to see Oxford is by taking one of the walking tours. But you need two vital pieces of equipment. First of all, your pop-up map. Second of all, your pop-up guide. Hello. How are you doing? You ready? Fine. If there's one thing the Irish love more than a drink, it's a good knees up. Music has been part of the culture for centuries. It's been used to tell stories of legend, victory and defeat, to celebrate, to mourn and of course to dance to. Double palm coconut is only found in the Seychelles and it just would have been the perfect fodder for carry-on films because the adult female nut closely resembles, well, an adult female. Just wait till you see the male. Ooh, missy! 
Sterilizing objects such as feeding bottles is essential in the first year of a baby's life as their immune system is vulnerable to infection. But what sort of sterilizer do you buy? The traditional cold water one your parents might have used or perhaps electric or microwave. Here to tell us about the pros and cons of the different systems is Louise Atkinson. Louise, welcome back to the Live Channel. Now, why sterilize in the first place? And welcome to Saints and Scholars, the comedy quiz show where the panelists are committed to entertain you. After that, they'll simply be committed. <laughs> Where's the wee lady? Look at her, she's tiny. And there's her husband, Roddy right Corbett. <laughs> tiny. Are you? <laughs> Sorry, did, did you have an objection there? Yeah, I, I don't have any more. <laughs> Positively embrace the current fiscal initiative. It's tattooed on my bank manager's arse, that is. <laughs> You've kissed it often enough to see it. Have I ever? <laughs> She's very sharp for a newsreader, isn't she? <laughs> Nice to see you on another celebrity potluck. And we've got another couple of well-known faces battling it out in the kitchens, both well-known for their success with the opposite sex looks and charm, I might add. Former Miss Ireland Vivian Doyle and Donegal's very own Romeo Bernard McHugh. And helping them with a bit of expertise in the kitchen is going to be Terry McCoy and Derry Clark. <laughs> and another vital ingredient, our gourmet gallery.